Well, could Hugo Chavez, the anti-American president of Venezuela, control the American election? A dramatic question uh, indeed, and that is what the U.S. government is trying to get a handle on as reports are surfacing that the maker of some of those voting machines is allegedly connected to the Venezuelan leader. Sequoia Voting Systems denies any connection to Hugo Chavez and actually asked to be investigated. The inquiry is focused on the Venezuelan owners of the parents of the software parent company, Smartmatic Corporation. Should we be concerned about electronic voting machines? Machines. Let's turn to the A-list who joins us once again, Congresswoman Ileana ross -Layton. And, uh, You know, we've heard so many different things about different companies and what hand they have in it. It seems that after the hanging Chaz episodes in Florida, all everybody was screaming about was, why can't we do this electronically? You know, why isn't there a, more, a cleaner, better way to do this? Now you have everybody concerned about Diebold owning, uh, you know, making a lot of those electronic machines. And now this situation where a company that was hired in Venezuela to do their work on their elections, and guess who won? Surprise, surprise. Uh, is now going to be involved with some of the machines in Florida. It is very worrisome, and South Florida, as you know, is home to a lot of Venezuelans who have fled uh, when Hugo Chavez uh, took over, many of them uh, wealthy uh, businesses, uh, business owners, and uh, they know what a corrosive effect on democracy and respect for human rights and, and clean business practices Hugo Chavez has had there. Now, what kind of influence he has in these companies, but, but, that has a lot of but, questions. Because Cody, go ahead. Right, really right, right, right. Look, look, I mean, but, but, it, it's, it's just, it, it, it's quite a stretch to think that there's that any way, way yeah. at all that this guy, I mean, this, this guy is, you know, sitting in Venezuela, and there's no way, the, the thing is that the digital voting system is going to be much more accurate than any system we've implemented before. Eventually, you track things. I think, even but already, now yeah. people Okay, it's, go ahead, Lucy. I mean, there will be problems, but certainly you can track the problems. That's right. the point of digital. It, you can track everything. But you know well, what's interesting is, is that in Florida, where the, all of these problems first started and where the digital wave, be, wave became, began, now everybody's saying, we want the paper ballots back because they, well, they well, believe the that it's a with this, with this story, Go ahead, with Mike. This story, the, Chavez, the Chavez angle here, regardless of the, the security of, in general terms of electronic voting, the, the story regarding the company that is now involved, uh, Smartmatic, Right. and Chavez Connection and the way that the contracting was was structured one of the things my firm does is fraud investigations you look at the transparency of, of a bid uh, on a contract you look at the mm -hmm. transparency of the ownership of a company and if you just go into this this deserves a lot more digging because the company that won this initial contract back in 2004 for the recall of Chavez had almost no right. experience I thought that was very interesting too. In yeah, no experience. and the government a government agency came in and invested in a small firm that was dormant it was an off-the-shelf mm -hmm. operation basically a brass plate they took an ownership position in this company and that meant they had a, a seat on the board and a significant ownership mm -hmm. of it they formed up with Smartmatic to make a winning bid, surprise, surprise, on that contract. They mm -hmm. then suddenly ended up with $120 million worth of money in their pockets from, from Venezuelan right. contracts. And, and, and two minutes after the polls closed, companies. Jimmy Carter says the election was clean, there was no fraud, and uh, so and it which means something but Cody like you know that, that was my initial know, reaction too I thought to look, look you know everyone always has a fear of technology well, you know we want it but then we don't want it but on the other hand when I read into it and you start to realize that this was you know it was, it was a few people who had this very unknown company hadn't done any voting and Hugo Chavez's people say we want you guys to work right. on this let's for us let's let's keep the separate the issue separate the digital voting is a good thing it's something we want it is more accurate this is the future period That's what do you think Lucy? Well, no honestly I think that we're going to be looking back at the hanging chads as a gold days back, yeah. back, back yeah. before we had all of these problems with like you know database quality and the programming no, laws but and the see, new no, the, the I think you're right we're going to end up all with, yeah. we're going to go to paper backup and we're going to say my god thank goodness we've got paper no, you don't want to five, you don't want to give it to the voter because then the union bosses you get on to that there's a documentary uh, so. uh, tracking uh, democracy we're talking to dinosaurs this is 1950 isn't it come on you talk about it might be scary to interrupt a congressman talk about it's Gary trying to interrupt the CIA former yeah, 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 yeah. guy. <laughs> But, you know, th there's a documentary that takes, so it's going to be on HBO on Tuesday night, that this woman from Seattle took a look at, you know, the process of voting. And she was asked this morning on Fox & Friends, so what do you think is the safest way to vote? And she said, honestly, paper ballots that are handwritten, that don't get transported anywhere, because she was concerned about these machines that are being sort of overnighted at different, uh, you know, observers of the election's houses. But see, the, again, the machines, when you're talking about making, uh, doing it in a digital manner, those machines are tied into the Internet. They're right. tied into the network. It, Google knows every search I do at my house. It, it, you do understand. By the way, by the way, so, so do we. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so does Mike yeah. Cody. Yeah. 
speaker. I don't think and, I, uh, and Dick Cheney is tracking you, right? them, it so is. be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it, if Google can track every, you know, billions of people's usage on the Internet, we're going to be able to track. The, the federal government's going to be able to track. I tend to, I tend to agree with you, yeah. Cody. I do. And then Hugo Chavez is sitting back there with some screwdriver and figuring out little formulas, <laughs> and then he's going to pack it in. I'm sure he'd yeah. love to if he could. In terms, in terms of absurdity, though, just to, to, to one last thing on this whole Chavez connection, Smartmatic, the Venezuelan company, one of the elections that they were involved in was up in Illinois and Chicago. Uh, they had some problems. It, despite all the, the bad press, and despite all the problems we're having between the administration and Chavez, mm -hmm. what happened? Some Venezuelan software engineers had to come up to Chicago. To all right, we got to go, we got to go. Right. Here's what's coming up next. <laughs> Whatever happened to convicted CEO Dennis Kozlowski? It seems that hard times have befallen the disgraced businessman. Jail time just got even harder for Dennis. We're going to tell you why. Plus, say goodbye to wholesome Halloween costumes. Remember the princesses and the dragons and the knights and all the good stuff that our kids used to dress up in. It's a little more risque out there now. If you've taken a look at any of the catalogs that have come to your house, you know that. But are those appropriate for little kids? The scary trend in Halloween and who's behind it? What is the most popular costume Ricky's is selling this year? Um, we have the French maids. Mm -hmm. We have Saw um, for men. Mm -hmm. We have these, like the lions and the all characters from movie. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. You look great. Happy Halloween. Yeah.